Hello, this is John Mount from the data science training and consulting company, WinVector LLC. I'd like to take guide your attention to an article we recently published called Please Virgin Your Data, the URL shown here. In this note, I'm just trying to establish that for certain sort of forecasting analyses, you run into severe problems if your data source is not temporal, bitemporally organized, or as of organized. That is, if the data source is changing in ways that you are not modeling or accounting for, it can cause severe problems in your predictive analytics project. The synthetic example I'm using is predicting popcorn sales as a function of movie attendance. And in our imaginary problem, we're directly measuring popcorn sales per day, and we're getting a movie attendance for both the past and the future from an outside data provider. The issue is this outside provider correctly edits old attendance for movies that have already happened to be correct. Somehow they get the ticket data. However, what they have been doing is using for future movies the actual, sorry, what they've been doing is for future movies using the theater sizes as estimated attendance for future dates. This causes a problem that our explanatory variable, which is the number of attendees predicted to go to the movie theater for our outcome, how much popcorn is sold, our explanatory variable is different for future and past movies, which is a real problem. We're training our predictive model to predict how much popcorn is sold as a function of attendance, and in its training data, which is all necessarily in the past, we're getting actual attendance, and in its application data, which is in the future, we're getting this est elevated estimate attendance, which is actually the capacity of the movie theater. This causes a severe problem when we attempt to deploy the model that in the past, it looks quite good. We'll say September 1st is the moment where we switch from the present to the future. So the in the past, it looks great, the dots being actuals, the lines being the prediction. But then once we move into the quote future, the predictions roughly double, that the magnitude of the predictions goes way up. And later on, we find out these predictions were vastly inflated, and we made a number of bad business decisions based on them. So how do you fix that? Well, that's a follow-up article, but basically you go to an as-of or bi-temporal database that in all things, when training your model, you simulate how it's going to be deployed. So if it's going to be applied on elevated or incorrect attendances, then you need to train it on elevated or incorrect attendances. That corrected data is not necessarily better for your application if you won't have corrected data where you're applying. And that's basically the content of the article. The link again is here. And I think it gives a good food for thought on how to organize data for certain sort of projects that involve time. And the punchline is you need as ofness or bitemporalism, which is a well solved problem in the database world. And again, I'm John Mount from WinVector LLC, a data science training and consulting company. If you have any need for us, please reach out on our contact page and we'd be happy to talk with you. Thank you.